you weren't stable enough to face them, so I volunteered to deliver the news to you when you were ready. But now I'm not sure if I'm able to do it. What is it? Because of the location of the bullet wounds and the surgeries required to save your life, the doctors had no choice. The sacrifice had to be made. I'm afraid you'll never be able to conceive, Emily. You're lying. No. Fate can be so cruel. See, you're still up to the same old, Emily. Come on, baby, let's get out of here. Just give us one second. You've set a date for the wedding. No, what, and you're going to try to stop me? I'm not going to stand here while it takes place. You're wasting your time. You need to leave. You heard her. Go. Why? What are you going to do? Pull out a gun and shoot me? Whether you like it or not, I'm here to stay. Hmm. So he's the one who told you about Nolan's deed. I know you both want the same thing, to undermine my relationship with your son. But there is no secret as to why I bought that house for my friend. Oh, of course. But we both know the issue is how you bought it. Victoria, just... How I bought it? You mean with money? I'm sorry if that's a sensitive topic for you right now, Victoria, seeing as you have none. If you ever need a loan, I would be happy to assist. Or maybe your new financial advisor can help you find your way out of the red. Surely, Aiden, you of all people should know, the Graysons are completely bankrupt. Shall we? But I am not capable of finding anyone who disturbs her the way you did last night, so you are staying. Together we're going to unravel and destroy that little bitch. Well, I see you two have made peace. I'm trying, Victoria, seeing as you obviously intend on having us both in your life. Oh, aren't you kind? But don't do anything on my behalf. Oh, that wasn't part of the plan. Victoria forced my hand. I had no choice but to be seen with you. Mm, don't get used to it. <laughs> In my room, there's only one right. But what is wrong when right is out of sight? Right road away. Emily is playing you like she played my son. But I'm not your son. Pascal, there you are. Victoria. Emily. I've reserved a high-stakes table for the two of us. Care to join me? Very tempting. But I had a different opponent in mind tonight. Try your hand at poker? I would love to. Great. Emily, I find you someone you can compete with. Shall we? The last card. And the winner tonight is my charity, of course. <laughs> and the river. Queen of spades. The bet is to my left. One hundred and twenty thousand to you. No, oh, Emily, I'm afraid you'll have to fold. You don't have enough to match the bet. I think Daniel's engagement ring should be enough to cover it. 
I call. You've been bluffing since you set foot in the Hamptons. Why stop now? Well, maybe I'd like to try to throw you off your game. Cards, please. Three queens. For once, she wins legitimately. Shall we settle up? Surely you have other avenues you can pursue? None with your access. That's funny. Seeing as your new partner was married to him for over 20 years. Which means you're playing me. Tell Victoria a nice try. Miss Thorne. No, Agent Rebecca Stone, Homeland Security. This is where you tell me everything. For three years now, I've been undercover building a case against the Graysons. Money laundering, murder, terrorism. And you have the information that I need to close my case. I always knew you were up to something. <laughs> Feeling's mutual. So why don't you make this easy on yourself? What do you have on the Graysons? I have nothing to say. Except an exact timeline of your guilt. Your initial investment in Grayson Global. You made millions off of that bombing just like Conrad. You killed Trevor Mathis. You killed him to keep him from talking. Well, it's circumstantial. It's enough to detain you indefinitely! What do you want, huh? What I've wanted from the beginning. The Graysons. You'll wear this wire to the Michael Lodge. Where I will watch your every move until you get a confession from Conrad and Victoria. At which point, in return, you'll leave this country a free man. I'll give you Conrad no problem. We need Victoria, too. No. I'll give you Victoria. But you breathe a word of this to her, and I swear to God, you will never again see the light of day. Is there something you need to tell me, Pascal? I love you. You do believe me, don't you? I do. See you later. Looks like happily ever after. I know we've had our differences, but it seems like you're actually getting what you deserve. Congratulations, Victoria. Pascal! Watch out! Conrad will pay for what he's done, as will Emily Thorne. Just before he went with your father on the roof, Pascal shared a look with Emily, and it was as if she was ordering him there. Not until Emily Thorne also feels the pain of this moment. level the playing field. I knew that Emily would send you here to do her dirty work. You really did pick the wrong girl to fall in love with. Go to hell. You must hate feeling so vulnerable and manipulated, much the way you made me feel after you moved into our house at the beginning of summer. Well, summer is finished, Mr. Mathis. 
And once that toxin leads to paralysis, so are you. <coughs> Emily ripped away my chance for true love. It's only fair that I do the same for her. And for when? Loyal to the bitter end. Goodbye, Mr. Mathis. Aiden? Aiden, are you okay? Come to the end just yet, Victoria. Well, I'm certain the authorities will disagree once they arrive. Let them come. You're the murderer here. You received my gift. After what you've done to the ones I love, you deserve far worse. I should kill you right now and get away with it. No one would miss you. No one would mourn you. You destroy everyone who gets close. Like your father? All right, let's play. Amanda Clark changes her identity and moves into the house next door to seek revenge. Only the truth is that the man that you remember as your father and the man I knew were very different. Just because you think you know something, it doesn't make it true. Then why are you here digging up his grave? That's where you're wrong. I'm not digging up my father's grave. Amanda. But why? <sighs> Bosco. Don't struggle. It'll only make things worse. What have you done? You needed help. I had no choice but to check you in. Check me in? Don't worry. Claremont Psychiatric is the best. You will get away with this. Watch me. This seems to be the problem. She just woke up. She's panicking. I don't belong here. You've been deceived by this woman. She's been running around under a false identity. She's Amanda Clark. She's been obsessing over this theory for months. When I found her digging up Amanda's grave, I, I tried to calm her down, but she attacked her. She's lying. The authorities initiated a 5150 and brought you here. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Goodbye, Victoria. Um, Get better soon. She's Amanda Clark! 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 This is Victoria Grayson. I'm being held captive. I know exactly where you are, Victoria. What are you doing in my house? I'm paying the mortgage. You should see what I've done with the place. I changed everything except the phone number. Precaution, I'm sure you now understand. Please. I've hurt you, I admit it. But you've hurt me too. I just want to end this cycle, please. I want my childhood. I want Aiden. And I want Pascal back. You led him to his death. Insinuated your way into my family. You have earned your pain. You are exactly where you belong, Victoria. Ranting on like a lunatic. For the record, Conrad slaughtered Pascal, not me. And as for everything else I did, I would do it all again. Sorry you wasted your call. 